In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading the water cooling system to my K40 laser. For some strange Chinese reason, the original pump, which should last practically forever, gave up the ghost. And to be honest, I didn't notice until I glanced down and saw that the water wasn't moving in my provisional tank. You can see the tank in its original installation here. This has been running for about a year now. The concoction inside being a mixture of distilled water, and it must be distilled, a uh, capful or so of bleach to stop any buildup of algae or any other nasties. And as you can see, the water is still nice and clear. And a drop of washing up liquid to act as a surfactant or a wetting agent. This you may recognize as being an ice making machine. This is going to be what I'm going to use to cool the water. On its lowest setting, it produces small ice cubes every six minutes or so. Uh, I can also ramp that up to a medium or a, or a large size of, of cube. We'll see how that works out. Upstairs here in my uh, Spanish house, the temperature can easily reach uh, the high 20s or, or even 30 degrees during the summer cooling then is very important. It's recommended to keep the tube running somewhere around 15 degrees, I think, is, is recommended. Uh, that's the temperature I'm going to aim for. To aid me in that task, I've purchased myself a new pump, and I thought it would be an idea to put on one of these flow indicators. It doesn't actually measure anything accurately, but at least it tells me that the water is flowing and perhaps more importantly, has a temperature sensor in it. This is the little guy here, it's probably out of focus, but this just runs off five volts, which I can pull easily from my K40. I've already got a tap off to power the crosshair LEDs in the video that I made earlier. That then is a walkthrough of all the bits and pieces that I'm going to be using. We'll come back when I've thrown it all together and see how it works. Here we can see and no doubt hear the installation. I've just drilled a couple of holes in the top of the plastic for the pipes, the cables just running out underneath. They're not very thick. This then is the input to the laser tube coming from the output of the pump. And there's the return which I've got slightly out of the water so you may be able to hear that trickling in there that may result in more trips to the bathroom probably can't see the little indicator unless i illuminate it there but i can see it clearly without the torch as i mentioned earlier the actual gauge here as it were only indicates the temperature as the, the flow indicator is literally just that paddle going around we can see then that the water temperature is uh, 22 and a bit degrees. I've got the ice maker set on the smallest cube. Let's start that going. Now I think I was uh, underestimating the time. I think it's actually about 12 minutes before the first ice cubes drop. So clearly we'll have to set this up uh, ahead of time before cutting and at the moment the laser is not active. Another point to mention is that when you see coolers advertised or chillers for these K40 lasers or any, or indeed any CO2 laser, many of them are really just a heat sink with a fan blowing on it. It's impossible for them to get down below the ambient temperature of the room that they're in, which frankly makes them pretty much useless and some of them can be very very expensive so just watch out for that you really need something that has the capability of refrigerating the cooling water on that note i actually purchased this second hand for the princely sum of 30 euros therefore this installation has not cost me an awful lot of money at all it's going to take a few minutes so we'll pause the video here and come back when the ice is made Right, so the first ice cubes now have been made and hopefully we can catch them dropping down there at the back. 
see the temperature dropping a little bit just as the cool water enters the chamber and now it's going to scoop the scoop the ice cubes up and drop them in there and you can hear it refilling to make the next batch let's see what temperature we get down to after a minute or so then we've dropped a couple of degrees I'll pause the recording again and see what temperature we get down to when the next cubes drop. The next cubes have just dropped at about 18 degrees and now we can see the temperature has gone way down. Let's turn the machine off as the water is circulating temperature coming back up now. Not quite sure how real that measurement was. There may have been some ice actually on the temperature sensor thinking about it. So we're up to 11 degrees now. I'm going to run a job on the laser that should take about 10 minutes and we'll keep an eye on the temperature. Just cutting out one of these little box templates. Coming up to 14 degrees I'm going to start the ice cube cycle again obviously this is going to uh, involve a degree of experimentation <laughs> been running a couple of minutes now and still around 15 degrees so I'm going to pause the video there uh, keep an eye on things and we'll come back when something interesting happens so the laser is still running, the temperature got up to 20 and the next cubes are just about to drop. In hindsight I don't think I should have interrupted the ice production. Let's see what happens when it drops into the water. Will the tube explode? The laser is still running laser has about three minutes to run now and see the temperature dropping away there so the laser job has now just finished and 18 and a half degrees cutting looks to have been successful what can we conclude then i should have left the ice maker running all the time i think that wouldn't have prevented the temperature getting up. The very cool temperature of three degrees or so, I think must have been an ice cube that just dropped onto the top of the sensor. I don't believe the water would have gotten that low that quickly. And on the next uh, drop of the ice cubes, the reduction in temperature was much less. So I'm not overly concerned about that. All in all then, I think, uh, with a degree of experimentation, a very successful project. Thanks for watching.